Hello gorgeous people, what is going on and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we will be watching some horror animations, believe it or not. Today we'll be checking out the channel, Mr. Friend. Mr. Friend uploads a ton of different types of animations on their channel, but today we'll be checking out three. These are all less than 10 minutes long, ranging from creepy technology to disturbing creatures and even haunted dolls. But I think you guys are really gonna love all three of them. Be sure to check out Mr. Friend's channel, which will be linked at the top of the description down below. Please be sure to go and support your horror creators. Now, just so you know, I did live stream two out of the three of these beforehand, so you may hear me talking to chat here and there. But if you did watch this stream, then the third one is actually special because I recorded it just for this video. Also, one more thing before we start today, be sure to check out GamerStops, which will be linked in the description down below. Use code Immortal for 10% off at checkout. And all right, guys, enough of me yapping. Let's jump right in. Video one, Bad Boy Oliver. Roach, thank you for the four month membership. Once I love upon a time in the town of Meadowshire. Little Oliver was on his way to see his aunt and uncle. Say hello, Oliver. He had Hi, just Oliver. turned eight years old, and so now that he was a big boy, he was allowed to take the bus alone. Just a short hop, skip, and a jump to go. Do you know the way from here, Oliver? Did he just scratch his butt? Ah, it appears he does. Oliver hadn't seen his aunt and uncle since he was four, so he was very excited to go and play at the house. Although, he was a little nervous. What if they didn't recognize him anymore? I mean, true, it's been four years. Stop that, Oliver. You're not seven anymore. Seriously? On camera? Why, hello there, my dear boy. Made it here safely, I see. Goodness, how you've grown. Your aunt and I are just delighted to have you here. Hi, Uncle Charles. Hello, Auntie Pat. Well, come on inside, my lad. Your Auntie Pat has just made a batch of her famous walnut cookies. She is incredibly tall, and he has an incredibly large forehead. Comparable to mine, even. What if he doesn't recognize them because it's been four Oliver. years? I'm sorry, it's not much. We still haven't gotten round to redecorating yet. Um, Uncle Charles, what's that? Hmm? Oh, him? Why, that's Mr. Bobo. Your father and I used to adore him when we were children. Why, we could have sworn he had a mind of his own at times. Mr. Bobo? Safe to say we probably know where this is going. Well, I'll let you get settled. Go on in and make yourself comfortable. Um, hi there, Mr. Bobo. Nah, going right in the trash can. Or get him out of my room. No, thank you. Mr. Bobo is kind of cute. You're definitely one of those people that has one of these creepy ass plushies in their room, don't you? I know a few of my friends will have like these absolutely bugged out, old ass, gross plushies in their room and they'll be like, oh my God, but I've had it since I was three. Throw it out, bro. Throw it out. But if there was merch of it, I would buy. All right, what's Mr. Bobo gonna do? What was that? Huh? 
Where did he go? Where did he go? I'm just imagining things. He's not real. No, I think he's real. Oh, hell no. He's not real. This is just a dream. He's not real. Okay. We love sleeping through stuff like that. Huh? Maybe it was a dream. Oh, I guess it was. Wait. That's about the same position. Oh, I guess it was just a dream. Oliver spent the day playing with his favorite toy while his aunt and uncle worked in the basement. But he was finding it hard to have much fun. Hi, Mr. Bobo. That thing is literally human size or like child size. That's insane. That is a big, big, like plushy slash toy. It's gotta be as tall as this guy. I'm not scared of you, Mr. Bobo. You're just a silly doll and you're not real. Uh. <sighs> Why would you do that? Now you done pissed it off. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Bobo. Please don't be mad. Huh? What's that? His eyes blinking? Oh, that's not a twist I was expecting. Huh? I see you've hurt Mr. Bobo, Oliver. That's a bad boy. Uncle Charles, why is there a camera in Mr. Bobo? <sighs> if you'd have just played quietly and been a good boy, I wouldn't have to do this. What is about to happen? Uncle Charles? So that was Bad Boy Oliver, and that is... The twist in that one was really damn good. I feel like you're meant to think at the beginning, like, oh, it's just a haunted doll, whatever. I mean, even the uncle says, like, oh, he has a mind of its own. And then you find out that it's actually not haunted. It has a camera in it. Right when you find out, like, there's a camera in it, you're kind of like, what is the purpose of this? And it brings out what could be some way darker implications of what the uncle and aunt are actually doing with Oliver. I mean, especially you see at the end that he's like chained up there in the basement. I mean, I don't, I don't know how they're going to explain that to his parents. Like, where did Oliver go? <laughs> but either way, still an extremely creepy story overall with great animation. And I even like the stupid little funny gags in there too, like at the beginning with him scratching his butt over and over. But honestly, that one was really good. So let's just jump into the next one. Video 2. The Man with No Mouth. I guess this isn't even analog horror. This is more just like animation, but it's got that like filter over it, you know? Mr. Friend Presents. Timothy and the Man with No Mouth. Wait, is it the same kid in everything? 
It was an ordinary night at the Green residence. And little Timothy was getting... Wasn't the last kid's name Timothy or am I bugging? His name is Oliver. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Oliver. My bad, my bad. Ready to begin his maths homework on his new computer he'd received for his birthday. He's doing his maths. His math homework. The only trouble was... Timothy wasn't very good at maths. <laughs> the sound effect is insane. It was far past Timothy's bedtime, and he had still not made any headway. No way, bro, still oh, on the same question. So Timothy exclaimed. At that Transformers! Moment, oh my god, this is old school Transformers too. Timothy heard a noise coming from the back garden. What was that? Timothy looked out of the window to see what made that noise. It was very dark. I could have sworn I heard something from out there. Huh? Timothy took another peek out of the window. Oh, hell no. He definitely saw something this time. A thin, naked figure standing in the middle of the garden. Naked? It was looking right at little Timothy, and it cocked its head and waved. Who on earth is that? Timothy gasped with a fright. Good move. Now he go tell your parents. Whoever that was looking into his room. Who was that? Why did they have no clothes on? A hundred questions raced through young Timothy's mind. But then he quickly remembered. <gasps> nah, all right, hold up. W Ninja Turtles poster. This looks like the early 2000s Turtles too, which is, in case you didn't know, the best version of the Ninja Turtles is the early 2000s Ninja Turtles. When they were like super muscular and detailed. That's what I'm talking about. W, w Timothy Still here. Still had to finish his maths homework by tomorrow. Bro better live. <laughs> Thirty. Hi, Ali. By five. It's mm. six. Come on, bro. Mm. Just when Timothy was drifting off into sleep, he heard something right outside his window. Huh? Timothy knew he shouldn't go and see you, but he was a curious little chap. How is it knocking on the... Uh, uh, Isn't he on the uh, second floor? Who on earth are you? What on earth are you? The man at the window stayed completely silent. I wonder why. Where's your mouth? Why were you hiding in my garden? What do you want? Uh. Scream, bro! Huh? What are you so trying dumb. to say? <laughs> my maths problem? Are you trying to help me with my homework? There's no way. <laughs> well, I see. Timothy slid over to his computer and cautiously pressed the number six on his keyboard. <laughs> By gosh, you were right. The answer was indeed six. How smart you are. Timothy went back over to the window. You're not so scary after all. Don't. You just wanted to help me with my homework. Is that right? Don't let him in. Huh? Do you want to come inside? Um, 
I'm not sure. I'm not really supposed to be talking to strangers, let alone let them in my bedroom. Correct, correct. I'll tell you what though, since we're now friends, you can come back tomorrow and help me with tomorrow's questions. <laughs> the man then slunk off into the night as Timothy went to bed. Bro, Timothy, you are on the second floor. How is this guy at your window? You're right, Shan. It's definitely a jetpack. Huh? Of course. The next evening, Timothy went up to his room to get started on his new maths homework. Three times three. Once again, it was very difficult. Brother. Was struggling to solve it. Timothy went over to the window and looked out <sighs> into the garden. Hello, Mr. No Mouth. Are you there? Everything was silent. Oh, I guess I'll have to solve this one myself then. At that moment, Timothy heard a familiar whistling. Or just get a calculator. Outside. His new friend was back. Timothy was very relieved. Thank goodness you're back. You can help me with my homework now. What's the answer? The man stared at the computer screen. What's the matter? Is it too difficult? Well, come and take a closer look. No! I'm so glad you're here to help me. It's wonderful to have a friend like you now. By the way, I was wondering, how do you whistle when you have no mouth? And that was the end of Little Timothy. Okay, so that was the man with no mouth, and wow, Timothy has to be the dumbest kid I've ever seen in my life. Bro couldn't do those basic math problems, I don't care how old he is.
study better in school buddy and also talking to strangers come on that's like rule number one as a kid i mean you should even still follow that rule when you're an adult sometimes but that was also just another incredible one i think we knew where that one was gonna go but still just seeing it actually play out up until the end was super disturbing and it's a really good point that it whistles but it has no mouth until it decides to show you its mouth at the end makes you wonder what this thing actually is that it's mimicking a human but also eating humans it's just such an odd creature super disturbing that has no mouth and just like the bright eyes but of course i enjoyed that one too let's jump into the final one video three apple vision pro mr friend presents it was a beautiful morning at the mcmahon residence the gentle breeze blew and the sun shone its light unto all the land. And it was a very special day. And why is that? As a package was on its way to young Kevin. Let's guess, what is he about to get? Why hello Kevin. It appears your parcel has arrived. What Not gonna lie, be? I was super close to actually getting one Why? of these. <laughs> it's the new Apple Vision Pro. <laughs> this feels like a commercial Loki. <laughs> I think the concept of it is super cool, but I think it's not advanced enough yet. I think there's still a lot more they could do with it. Probably by like the third one, because you know they're just gonna keep making different versions or updating Kevin it. Kevin was having a lot of fun playing with his new toy. Oh, wow! Kevin, sweetie, are you having fun? Don't you want to take a break? Oh, Isn't that's mom, mom? I'm having ever so much fun. But you haven't even started your homework. Why don't you take a break and play later? Yeah, you gotta get your I'll homework do done first. I promise. Well, okay then, sweetie. Don't play for too long. Nah, my parents would never. <laughs> Why is she built like that? Oh. Oh, it's getting to nighttime now. Damn, bro, you still got those on? That can't be good for your eyes. Kevin, honey, dinner's ready. Was there someone standing Mom? back there? Oh, no. It's the reflection on the wall. Where's dinner? Nah. Wait. I thought the... That was weird. Where could she be? Okay, I thought the Apple Vision Pro just made him, like, imagine his mom there, which would have made sense, but he's taking it off, and she was in the background there. Are we low-key getting baited again in another video where we're... It's called Apple Vision Pro... But he doesn't have it on, and his mom's being all creepy. Well, I guess I have a bit more Vision Pro time. Bruh. Huh? Oh, hell no. Mom, is that you? Take them off, bro. Take them off. <laughs> oh, hell no. Jesus. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Kevin? 
<laughs> What's wrong with him now? Why wouldn't you take them off? Kevin ran into the kitchen. What on earth was that? What do I do? No. No. He's gonna is he gonna end up killing his mom by accident? Dude, don't Kevin? do it. Kevin, honey, what's going on with you? Kevin. You can't hide, Kevin. Found you. <laughs> Oh my god, he's uh, gonna kill her on accident. You're not my mom. Stay away from me. No. No. What have I done? Mom, I didn't mean to. Kevin? I'm so sorry, Mom. Oh, my dear boy, Kevin. I think something is terribly wrong with my Vision Pro headset. Ow, Mom, that hurts. Mom! I got you. Wait. She cut his feet off? Okay, that was a bit of a roller coaster for six minutes. Oh my god. Um, at first, you're meant to believe that the Apple Vision Pro is the problem, that it's making him see things differently. But then, even I said before, like when he takes it off, his mom is still acting weird. So it was kind of like, is it the Vision Pro or is it actually his mom? But turns out it was his mom the whole time. Now, obviously, I don't think that was his mom. Maybe like some other creature kind of came in, was mimicking his mom in a way, something like that, because obviously your mom doesn't act completely fine until you get an Apple Vision Pro. But that was a really good twist. Because, yeah, you see this and you're like, all right, she's acting weird. His Vision Pro headset is off. So what's going on with that? And then he only sees her like this when he puts it on. So you're like, OK, it is the Apple Vision Pro. And then there's the twist at the end. I thought that was really good. Mr. Friend has a great thing for like throwing off what you think is going to happen. Like in the first one with Mr. Bobo, you thought that he was possessed, like this possessed doll. But turns out it's just a regular doll with a camera in it. And really the uncle was the creepy one. And in this one, you think it's the Apple Vision Pro. But really, it's actually just the mom is some kind of like weird creature thing. So I really really like that that was awesome and that is all the videos that we're going to react to today that is all the videos that were made in this style on mr french channel and i loved every single one of them they're all less than 10 minutes long but the storytelling in them is amazing the style of animation the characters the twists in the story it was really just perfect front to back again the apple vision pro one i just thought was going to be so predictable you know he's going to be seeing things on the apple vision pro and that's it but the twist that it's his mom at the end is just crazy but i hope you guys enjoy these videos overall i got them recommended to me a ton by you guys in discord but mr friend actually makes a ton of other animations as well so i highly recommend you go check out mr friend's channel whose channel link will be at the top of the description down below please be sure to go and support your horror creators if you guys have any other types of horror videos you want me to watch be sure to recommend them in the comments down below but if you guys did enjoy this video i hope you drop a like on it and if you're new here don't forget to subscribe i make videos like this on my channel all the time and we're trying to hit 1 million subs before the end of the year but all right guys i hope you have a great rest of your day and i will see you in the next one peace